uh, in the last video, maybe a little bit abruptly, uh, and I said that we need to create a new page to add a nice form for the creators. So let's uh, go and do that. So let's go to pages, add new, and let's name this add product like that. And we do have some uh, blocks for pods. You can find them by clicking this blue plus sign and then hunt down the pods blocks. And what we are aiming for now is the pods form. So let's grab that one. There are uh, some settings that you need to do with this one. The first is, of course, that you need to say that you should use the product pod. Then you need to enter all the form fields. And one nice thing with this is that they will show up in the order you write them here. So let's say that we would like to have the title first, and then we would like to have the product underscore info. Remember though that you what you write is the slug for the for the fields. So the, the name um, in only lowercase and no spaces. And then we want to have maybe the price, and we would like to have the images. I actually skip the weight field for the moment, um, and I will come back to that later. Because one nice thing with this is that we could actually have more fields and still don't show them all in the uh, form. Then, of course, if you have what we haven't done now is that we haven't said that any of these are mandatory. Because if you have a mandatory field, well, then we will not be able to submit. So then, of course, that field needs to be here. You can customize the submit button. Um, so let's say this should be add product. And as you can see, and again, I can't spell product. And product. Um, and you can also set up a redirect URL. And that means that when you submit this, you should go to a specific page. But I'll leave it as it is now. And let's publish this one. And let's uh, try to uh, view this one. And now we can see that we have the title, the product info, the price, and the images. And now if I try to view this as Mary the Creator, yes, it looks totally okay. And if I try to view it as John the Customer, well, he also sees this. And the reason for that is that, well, we didn't set up any um settings about that uh, part so we need to scroll down and as we have the members plugin installed well then you can set up the content permissions so let's say that you can only view this if you are a creator and let's update this again and let's view the page once more and now if i try to view it as john the customer he will see this but if I, on the other hand, view it as Mary the Creator, she will see it like this. So let's add uh, some old uh, books here. And I... and let's add a price, 249 Swedish kroner. So that's super cheap. Uh, and let's add a file here, an image for this one. And I found a nice image by Susie Hisselwood. Thank you, Susie, uh, from Pixels. Uh, so um, I will upload that one. And as you can see, it is now uploaded. And I can add more files if you want to. And I can also remove this by clicking the, uh, the cross here. Uh, but let's add this product. What happens now is that now the product is submitted. But it is actually not published. It will be placed in draft mode. You can change that by going into the setting for this pod. But let's uh, take a peek at this one. So let's restore. So we will be admins again. And let's go to the products listing. And here we can see that we have the old books. And now if I preview this one, we see hmm, it doesn't look as we intended. I only see... I don't see, no, uh, see an image. I don't see anything at all. Uh, why? Well, because by default it uses the post type and it renders as a post. And now we have extra fields. So we need to handle that. So to handle that, we need to create what's called a template. But that 
is for the next video.